Ah, IKEA, a magical place that deliberately makes you get lost in. With nearly 10,000 products, here is what I think you should buy or say goodbye to at IKEA Singapore. Joining me is my friend Enrique, who is also an interior designer who works with IKEA. So you know this list is the real deal. <gasps> Wait, it's so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> ah! It's, so short. it's giving like, um, when you're in an airplane, it's like, would you like chicken or fish, ma'am? <laughs> Well, we'll try to be professionals about it. If you want to be better informed about IKEA's products, then keep on watching. Just a side note, we are going during Christmas time and there's going to be Christmas stuff. The goal is to stay focused on this video and to leave without buying anything. Because I'm just here to film. Yeah. So, we'll see how... Stop. Coins. <laughs> Such a sucker for like, Christmas shit. Like, Christmas is the time I come up alive. The first item on our list is the all-new Alcerod side table because it's $59 but you can get two side tables out of it because of its convertible nature. I'm actually really obsessed with this. Look, they're showing the video like how to convert it. So there's two forms, this and this. For $59, honestly, quite a steal. This is new. It literally, yeah. it literally says it's new. What do you mean? Yeah, so this is a new line of the couches, which I've never seen before. I like how there's storage space, but I just don't like, like when we sat into it, we just sank. I don't think the cushions are very comfortable. Oh my god, IKEA really is pushing out this new sofa. Like, it feels nice, but still, bye! Do you have any recommendations for couches? I like, oh, honestly, anything for couches like... I know leather is hot in Singapore. But... Oh yeah. <sighs> as nice as leather sofas might look in your home, I would really recommend against it because if you guys have watched my previous videos, I always talk about how being in Singapore is such a humid country, you're going to be so hot. If you're wearing shorts at home, it's just going to stick to the sofa and it's going to be so annoying. Like especially if you're going to get a sofa, girl, you have to get your butt to the stores and sit on it and try them out. Because if you buy them online, it's just not going to hit the same. Like I might hate this sofa, but someone else might like it. So. But we've learned that we shouldn't have super low hanging lights. Yeah. For your tall guests in your home. But these are really pretty though. You're gonna, you're gonna have a hard time cleaning everything, okay? Okay, that's true. Like literally, yeah. even my light bulbs in my living room, those are hard to clean. You're gonna have an even harder time with this. So the car front so let's I get a bang from us. The pegboards are also always really good. Because you can just put a bunch of stuff on it. This is how you can use the pegboards. And I feel like they are constantly coming up with cool things you can do with it. Like those hooks to do frying pans. This is really new. These. Yeah, so the possibilities are endless and Ikea loves their pegboard range so they are constantly coming out with new designs for it. I think for me, I really considered getting stuff from this line because I was going for like an like industrial look at my house, right? But why I didn't buy this line is because there are so many holes and it's gonna collect dust. I'll show you the TV console that I had in my living room and that already collects dust and that's like just a little bit of the metal netting in front. But this is just all over, even at the bottom. I mean, they're interesting, but they look a bit kiddy. But yeah, I have this in my house and I love it. I have no complaints about it. It's really lightweight, so I can just like carry it, even with like plates and stuff on top, to move it from the side of my sofa to the middle so that all my guests can like place their cups and share snacks on it. Okay, so I would say goodbye to the curtain rods because I have one and it doesn't last long like my one side of my rod is already drooping and it just it, it just looks bad over time it covers your windows and it's such a big part of your house you really want it to look floor to ceiling flush and really professionally done while I did use these like IKEA rods as a temporary solution that's budget just over time it will start drooping and also it just looks really ugly Wait, this is a fridge. It's crazy. I love how it's just it just blends so seamlessly into your carpentry. Ooh. But then you can't change your fridge. Like it's gonna be such a hassle. Look at this. It's just carpentry oh, with yeah. the fridge. Like you're paying extra money for all this wood. I feel like 
series, you're gonna do your kitchen with IKEA. The metal series is the way to go. The metal series is what IKEA will use to do everything in your kitchen. Like they plan it online with the metal series in mind. Because if you look at it, right, it's actually all like modular. So and everything fits to the IKEA organizers. And look how deep it is. And you have like multiple drawers upon drawers. They also have kitchen specialists that will come and validate your design and make sure that it works for them to build as well. But like you look at this. This looks pretty good, honestly. Nice. I was surprised. This is like in stone or like quartz. Okay. And they can even bevel it so that you don't get water to run off. You know, and they can do it the other way so that it doesn't. Wait, this is really smart because my water just like runs yeah. on the floor and it's just dripping on the carpet. You can do your shaker doors. You have a choice of almost all kinds of like knobs and like joinery work. Okay, while they do have a range of handles for you to choose from, girl, don't get leather handles in your kitchen like if you feel oily as hands or whatever when you're eating and you want to open the cupboard it's just gonna stain your leather your leather won't age well yeah i was just telling enrique that like i would honestly get my kitchen done by ikea there are some things that you can get from ikea and some things that you should get from an id but i think the kitchens are pretty worth it them doing the whole kitchen for you is about 5000 plus and i like that they'll kind of figure out storage solutions for you like you tell them that you want to keep all these things and they'll do all those drawers for you because right now my kitchen it's just a generic big drawers and drawers are so thick and i feel like it doesn't utilize the space as well as i would like it to i've never seen that before that's so good oh my god they do do it what Okay, it's only 60 cm, I guess, width. What's the difference between like the method and Besta? Like Besta's living room is it, and then method yes. is. Besta. So I did some digging, and while Enrique mentioned waterproofing concerns, I also found that the Besta only has a five year warranty compared to the method's 25 year one. The method is also sturdy enough to fit a countertop. What I will recommend is the Besta modular storage system because they've recently upped their games with the different types of materials that you can use for your door. I personally have this one and it's so pretty. It's very modern. Those of you who like the fluted panels, I mean, I obviously am against it. I will link that video in the description box below. You know why I hate it. But yeah, they just have so many different types of finishings for the door for you to choose from. And it's very modular. There's so many different sizes as well. And you can create it in like the 3D studio on IKEA to kind of visualize it for your home. This is so good. I have a bone to pick with it because when I was doing my house, it was during COVID time and I planned the whole Besta unit and it was sold out. But it's okay, I still got some Besta in my house, so we good. But there was a moment in time where we were not friends. It gets a bye. While we are still on the topic of kitchens, I was surprised to find IKEA's extensive appliance line. I remember they would have Electrolux ones in the showroom, but now they have their own. Enrique has the microwave and says it's fine, and online reviews are pretty positive as well. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have tried IKEA's appliance line and what you think about it. No, but I mean, I think they made it this way because it fits with their doors. Yeah, but if I'm not wrong, you can actually open it the other way, so you can do a double door fridge. Ah. So we are currently in the bit section, and I wouldn't recommend getting bits from IKEA because number one, the do European sizes, so they're not like your standard single, super single, queen size, king size beds. And that means when you buy mattresses, you probably have to get them from IKEA. And when you get your bed linen, you're also limited to those at IKEA. And in my personal opinion, I think the bed linen at IKEA is a little bit scratchy, not gonna lie. So from like a business standpoint, it's really smart because you can't really get, it's not e as easy to get European sized mattresses and stuff. Uh, in Singapore, so you'd be stuck with getting it from IKEA. Okay, this is what my friend Celeste said is a buy for her. You can like push it back and forth. Yeah. And rotate. So it's really, it's really good when you're trying to get like stuff at the back of your fridge. I think a buy is definitely the packs. The PEX wardrobe system is just amazing. My only problem is that like for some HDB, it doesn't reach all the way to the ceiling so you will have that gap at the top that you have to clean. That's my only problem with it. 
IKEA now does box up services. <gasps> so they can box so up wait, the wardrobe. This isn't sponsored by IKEA by the way, but like uh -uh. if IKEA wants to sponsor me, please hit my DMs. But it's really not. This is based on our personal experiences with the packs. I know a lot of my friends who have the pack system and they love it. Yeah, what I also like about it is that because the IKEA 3D studio on their website, to have a good visualization of it before you pull the trigger. And look at the types of drawers you can do. And the price point is not bad. Skitter though or Skitter though. So you can do it like the, those like um, US like walk-in wardrobes. And then you can even do it as a room divider. This kind of fits your Muji aesthetic because you, this kind of mimics like rice paper. And is it rice paper material feeling? Uh, it's like frosted. Yeah, it's frosted. Feeling. So I feel like it works as a rice paper alternative. And I think if, you, if they have this in like a wood theme, I know y'all be flocking here. Like, I'm yeah. sure there are more options, but Hopefully. I didn't know that sliding doors. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. Okay, this is new. This is such a nice little bit side moment. Yeah, the, the, the name don't sound right, but uh, it looks cute. You can put books here. You can put your remote control. You can look like a bottle of water would fit here so nicely next to your bit side. And it even comes with hooks at the bottom. I love that. I don't know what you'll put in here, but this is a secret compartment here. So, <laughs> this is the Nobiska. It is under the buy. Like, the no, you have to be buy. Yeah. Because, okay, I know it matches the Muji aesthetic. Huh? Okay. As you can tell, I'm not a Muji person. Our Muji aesthetic is the same. But this is too open. <laughs> this looks nice because they are minimalist, very condo, whatever. Because they don't have a lot of things. Singaporeans have a lot of things. And it's one door. You see here, you hang all your shirts. Maybe your pants, you roll up. You want to close it away, you're going to see your underwear, you're going to see bags, you're going to see like your trinkets, your shoes. Ah. Like, even when you have guests over, like, come on. Yeah, your, your neighbours are going to see your drawers and everything lying around. I'm currently having an intermission. I apologise if the quality suddenly drops, my camera ran out of batteries. And I forgot to bring one. On a side note, this lockpick is really good. I love this little wine corner and how they use this shelf for like the edges. But there's still a gap and there's still like space I feel that's not properly utilized. If you have like uh, this wrap around. Okay. Are you a fan of Billy bookcases? Uh, yeah, I have them at home. They're, they're pretty good and I find that they have uh, like at the back, they take into account your skirting so you can flush against the wall all the way. Since when did the Billy bookcase get an upgrade? Like, it looks so good just now, and with the glass doors... Even better. Yeah! yeah. And lights and <gasps> Guys, I really recommend you getting, like, motion sensor lights and stuff from, like, Shopee. I mean, these cost $65, and you probably could plug it in. You just get those rechargeable lights from Shopee or something, and it really just takes your, like, cupboard game to the next level. This is the one we saw earlier at, like, oh, the, yeah, wine the wine section. section. They even have double glass. Wow! And you even have, like, a half moment. They have all sort of, like, colours for your wood. Wow, I'm very impressed. Special mention to the Calyx. This is such an iconic IKEA staple. I have this as well. And there's so many things you can do with it and it's at such an affordable price point. So the one in this showroom, they've put legs on it and suddenly, she's a TV console and she looks so good. And then you can even put like little doors and drawers in it. This one's new and it connects in such like an interesting way. It's all about the detail. Yeah. Oh, if you got $300 to spend. I think that's okay. How can we hold up? I thought this was like the Kallax area. But I think they've introduced a new boxy modular system called the Ecat. Ecat? Dude, this is a new storage system. Oh, the Ecat has been out a while already. Since when? I think instead of the Kallax, this is a really interesting way you can combine. I'm not a fan of the whole. Yeah, if you get it right, it's okay. But you still get dirt. Yeah, like why? Why is this here? Yeah, I think I would still prefer the Kallax over this. Sound absorbing panels. Oh, for forty two ninety. Oh yeah, another thing that we recommend you guys buy are these Maslanda shelves. They come in like a variety of colors. I personally have this in my home. Uh, the only thing is, I think like over time, the paint kind of like yeah, kind wears. Of wears yeah, the, the paint kind of wears off. But like from afar, it looks good. It comes in two sizes. I think this is a bit more new. Back yeah, and then, they even have a little cover for the nail. Oh wow, oh, that's good. Yeah. Instead of having it like that, it's covered. Yeah, these are really good for like your artwork or your pictures. Because look, 
have little ledge so that your things will fit nicely. I think these clear ones are nice too. I mean, as all things like acrylic and transparent, you'll be very visibly like dirty after a while. True, true. Are the rugs are by or by? What? I thought the rugs were fine. No, the designs are nice, but they're just too expensive. Okay, true, true. Yeah, like you can send, you can find some affordable. So this is a really good buy because I have it and Enrique has it as well. I've had this for a good four years and I haven't changed the light bulb once. What I like about it is that you don't have to drill it in. You can actually clamp it on. You can clamp it on a variety of places. It won't take up a lot of desk space. It literally takes up minimal desk space. And for 20 bucks, hello. Um, what I also like to use these lights for is like whenever I'm having like a Zoom meeting, right? I would just face the light on me. Like, hello, who, who needs to spend money on a ring light when you have the light like this? Or if this is too harsh, I would usually just face this on the wall so the light bounces. And just have really pleasant lighting for your video calls. I have got compliments on my lighting. And it's just because I use this. It's actually a collab with a, like a design, lighting designer. Okay. So, IKEA does a lot of these collab collections, if you guys don't know. Then, uh, they sell it so you get to like design and the aspects of like how people would think of you know ergonomics and this and that but you get it at like, IKEA price so this is very very nice um, for 395 though yeah, it's a bit expensive yeah but it's, but it's pretty the vibe is nice it's really pretty, pretty. If, if we see this in the ads I'm buying one this is really pretty oh. that just like facing the wall this is such a nice glow because of the height I mean I'm not a fan of paper lamps because when it gets dirty or dusty inside like you can kind of see it True, true. And you yeah. and it tears. It, it tears, yeah. And it's just kind of hard to upkeep. But they are cheap. That's the hot tip. Um, change up your light bulbs for like smart LED light bulbs where you can change the colors to fit the vibe of your rooms and you can like kind of dim it from your phone and stuff just to elevate like your floor lamp. You can even buy a really cheap floor lamp that's like $20. And then just get that light bulb. Oh my god, they're just playing Christmas songs everywhere. It's like from each corner, like different songs, it's just clashing. I might just eat my words. I do love their candles just for like the jars that they come in. I bought a candle once that came in like a jar that looks like a bit like a, a chalice that's made of glass. But oh my gosh, this looks like is it Diptyque or Loewe doing these fancy ridged glasses now? This is really pretty. You buy IKEA plants like quite often, so yeah. yeah so the IKEA plants get a buy from us. Not me, because I kill all plants, but like mine, mine are still surviving. Yeah. So. so if you want to get your plants, IKEA is a great place to get them at. And of course, a must buy at IKEA. Every time you come here, you gotta get the ice cream. It's literally fifty cents. This is something about the ice cream. It tastes very soy beanie. That's good. It's soybean ice cream. That makes sense. IKEA is having their year-end sale, so I hope our recommendations help you out a little. Do take them with a pinch of salt, but go forth and shop. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more content that's fun and informative. Till the next video, bye!